In today's video, we're going to go over how to change and more importantly, tune the FEP film on a resin 3D printer. So sit back and enjoy. This is the resin reservoir for my Anycubic Photon 3D printer. What happened here is that a piece of the support fell when it was printing and got smashed under the print and caused a hole in the FEP film. As always, make sure you're wearing gloves whenever cleaning this resin and use water or alcohol depending on which resin you have. For this, I'm gonna use the screwdriver and Allen key that came with the printer to loosen the screws on the frame. And I have the replacement FEP film here that I got off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for anybody who's interested. It's pretty standard. We're just gonna go ahead and unscrew all of these and lift the frame out of the reservoir. I'm also going to make sure to clean out any residual resin that might be in this reservoir channel. And I have used an alcohol based resin in this, so I'm going to go ahead and use some alcohol pads to clean inside of this as well. I cleaned the FEP film in the exterior of this with alcohol previously. Another important tip is to always keep all your screws together. You don't want one of them rolling away and having to search for it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove these million and a half screws that are inside of this frame. And again, also cleaning this frame since it will get resin on it as well. Now comes the important part. Here I've got an alcohol cap. Some people will use a spare Gatorade cap. As you go around this, the Gatorade cap adds some additional space so that way the FEP is not too tight at first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and puncture these here and apply the screws in basically a pattern similar to one of these alternating from side to side. It's important to alternate the screws like this so that way you get even tension all the way around the FEP film. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with an X-Acto knife so that way there's no extra film here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place the FEP film frame back into the reservoir and do a preliminary tightening. You want it somewhat tightened on here, but now we're gonna go ahead and do the tuning. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get this program called Spectroid. There are similar programs on iOS and different ones on Android if you don't want to use this one. But the thing is we want to basically bang this like a drum using something soft that won't dent the FEP film. Here I'm using a dropper and we want to get it to about 333 Hertz. So as I do here, I'm going to hit it. And I'm gonna hit it a few more times to just try to get a good reading on what it is. And as I can see here on the graph, it's not nearly tight enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat tightening it and testing it until I've got it down. And now I've got it right around 333 hertz. Like I said here, you don't wanna bang on it with anything hard because that will 
dent the FEP film and cause degradation of the 3D prints. So we've got it, it's clean. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in the printer. And that is how you tune FEP film on a 3D printer. This is done on an anti-cubic photon, but most of them will be very similar. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Anything you do will help out the channel.